What's going on, guys? We're back with MLB 23, Game 2 against the Red Sox. Hello, baseball fans, and welcome. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Boston Red Sox going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Almost ready to get underway. And on the hill in this one, Casey Mize. Base runners are tough to come by with him out there, Chris. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Left-hand batter waits. There's a strike. One ball, one strike. They say you win. One ball, two strikes. And the pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. Oh, Oh, really went aggressive in with that slider. Good two-strike pitch right there. At worst-case scenario, it's weak contact in play. Exactly where he and the catcher wanted it. Here's Alex Verdugo. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. And a foul ball. One down, base is empty. And down on strikes. Oh, yeah. Quick start here this evening. Two out, top of the first. Well, anytime you can punch out the top two guys in a lineup to start an inning, you got to be feeling pretty good out there on the mound because when you think of just having a distraction, table setters on the base. That one ripped. And in one hops the wall. The throw into second, and that's a two out double. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. We often hear the phrase short to it, long through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Adolis Garcia stands in now and watches strike one. Bounce to the left side, and foul ball. Well, a really good chance right here to pick up a run in the top of the first after what seemed to be a, a real quiet start to the inning. And one oh. and two. Ooh. One, two. That oh. one, 95 to finish him off. And the Red Sox leave one. And now the Pirates will take their turn in a scoreless ball game. Back after this on the show. Back here in Pittsburgh. And pitching in this game, Brian Bayo. Last time out, wasn't able to get out of the second inning. Really put a lot of pressure on the bullpen. But the offense picked him up. I'm looking for him to hit the reset button and get after it in this one. And a rope with a center down field base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff down. Well, oh, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Absolutely smoked that baseball. What a swing. 
Sent it out way faster than it came in, of course. 113 off the bat, and no matter where you hit it at that speed. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. Swing and a miss. Sanchez throws. Two lane. Stolen base. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal a base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. Oh, and two now. Swings and misses. It's a strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Brian Reynolds here. Homered last night. Added another hit as well. Bounced out to short. Sneaks through. Oh, base no. hit. Here comes Hayes around third. Not in time. He's safe. And it's 1-0. Well, the strike first as he gets the job done to bring home the run. It's amazing to me that he was able to put the barrel on that one. I mean, that pitch was pretty well outside, but great extension and bat control through the zone allowed him to drive it the other way. That was pretty impressive. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Here's O'Neill Cruz. Run around the move. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, with a good arm behind the dish, it's definitely a roll of the dice here to try to steal second base. Man, he can zip it down there so quickly. That was a pretty good throw as well, but really good clean stolen base. He can be pretty proud of himself. That one's in there. And a count one, one, one. and one. Swing and a miss. Ooh. Ugly swing right there. Filthy changeup right there. Just pulled the string. Yeah. Left hand hitter waits. Pitch misses outside. Two and two. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. And a ground ball to first. Ooh. And he takes it himself for the out. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder Jack Sawinski. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. Tosses the first. Inning over. But the RBI single pushes across a run. It's now 1 0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here at the ballpark. New inning getting started. Here comes Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Mike. Mike. Back to work. Ball one and a pitch inside. This one smoked out to left. Sawinski makes the grab one down. Man, he smoked that fastball. It's all over it. It's just frustrating when you can't get it to fall. Maybe next time off, he'll find a hole. So here's Brown at the plate. Hitless yesterday as they only pushed across one run. And first offering is fouled off. Way out front for strike two. Making the calls behind the plate in this one is Woody Keller. Yeah, and Woody does a pretty good job back there, Boog. He's got a pretty fair strike zone most of the time. Maybe some inconsistency here or there, but usually he's back there doing a solid job. Next pitch misses way outside. How much were you aware of the umpire scouting report or even who was going to be umpiring? Not a whole lot. I mean, there were a couple of umpires that weren't real good, but outside of that, you just kind of went into the game, especially back when I was playing. Here's a one-two. Chases the fastball hey. up the ladder, struck him out. The pitchers have become so much better at commanding that high fastball. It used to be that a lot of guys didn't like to throw it because it threw off their release point and their mechanics, and they're aimed at keeping everything at the knees, get ground balls, but because hitters get a swing path that can lift balls at the knees up in the air and over the fence, 
this pitch has come back into play and they oh, are doing some special things with it. Two and zero to Cal. Here it comes. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. And the 2 2. Got him swinging. Red Sox go down quietly. They trail here, 1 0. And welcome back. Bottom of the second. Here's Rowdy Telez. The first baseman. Rowdy Telez. The wind of the pitch. On the ground, right side. He steps on the bag. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Batting seven. The second baseman. Rodolfo Castro now at the plate. Went deep in the ball game last night. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. a fly ball deep right field makes the catch up against the wall man I love that route the ball was smoked he knew he had to get back to the track right away turned his back on the infield got to the spot turned around and made a nice catch slow roller to third two down nobody on foul ball The 0 2. And now 1 and 2. Hammers that one. There it is, baby. And what is going on there? He'll circle the bases. Home run number five on the season. It's 2 0. Gets pitch recognition early. He saw exactly where that was going to be. The challenge: not get over anxious and come out of your swing. He stayed on it and got all of it. Base is empty with two away. And now it's Andrew McCutcheon. Come on, Ted. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. to kick the pitch hit weakly on the ground to first play made that ends the inning cannonball coming and it's yeah. just you're watching major league baseball on the show on to the third inning now it's the shortstop you chang the shortstop you chang the wind of the pitch. And that's in for a strike. No ball. One strike. Swings through that. No ball. Two strikes. The 0 2. And that's One, downstairs and outside. Chang. Yeah. Just a swing. Now it appeal to first. And that's ruled a swing. Oh, yeah. It's a strikeout. That is not. Gary Sanchez it's at the plate. Gary Sanchez. And there's the strike. Sanchez, a former oh, all-star, hitting ninth in today's lineup. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. 
Next pitch is inside. Oh, yeah. oh. One and one. And the next pitch is way outside. Swings and misses. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Just absolutely rolling on the mound. He's looking very much on his game in the early parts of this one, Boog. Fully on the attack with these hitters. That's seven strikeouts already. So he's got a good pace going, no doubt. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Sawinski gets hey, it in on the run. Offer, Nothing doing for Boston. They trail it here, two nothing. Way to go, Jack. Bottom of the inning, and now the Pirates leadoff man, Key Brian Hayes. The pitch in there at the knees, and that's strike one. Hayes getting to start at third. 27 years old. He's been scoring a lot of runs lately. He scored nine times in the last 10 games. That one not close. Two balls and a strike. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. Swing and a miss. Slider got him for a strike three. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Rojas takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Lifted in the air, out to left. Verdugo gets under it. Puts it away for the out. Digging in is the no switch hitting fielder. outfielder, Number Brian ten. Reynolds. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. To the right side, and he grabs it foul. Reynolds goes six feet, three inches, 205 pounds, and he won the Silver Slugger at his position in the National League last year. Hey, doubled up on the off speed there. We talk about the power fastball, but he's working a little differently here. In the oh, dirt. Shit. Sanchez fires over to first, and they take care of Reynolds for the out. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. Back here at PNC Park, here's the left fielder, Alex Verdugo. First pitch no, doesn't the find point. the zone. You know, these Red Sox just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. So many of their outs have come from weak contact on pitches. They're chasing First outside of the strike zone. You can't do much of anything with those locations, and that's been true again today. Tried to oh, check yeah. his swing there, appealed a third, and yes, he did. That's a swing, according to Earl Hendricks. The wide, the kick, and the one-two. Oh. And now the count oh, filled up three and two. And as a pitcher, when the hitters are swinging at everything, you feel no need to challenge inside the zone. You just keep working the corners and expanding that strike zone and beyond, and they just keep eating right out of your hand. One away. Going to have to have a little oh, more discipline in future as bats. That pitch looked good, but you can't hit it. It was just too high in the zone. You usually see a swing and miss or weak contact in the infield. Devers, the next to hit, takes ball one. And the 1 0. Outside. Oh. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, you and you see the results. The pitch. Three and that one clips the corner. Oh. 
Up and in. Three and two now. And that's ball four. Mm. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Man at first with one gone. Adolis Garcia, the next to hit. Swing and a foul straight back. Now the 0-1. Ah. There, there's the strike. Got him. And two there away now. Mike Yastrzemski up here. He's 0 for 1. Mike Yastrzemski. That one's in there, 0 and 1. Devers off of first with two away. In the air, left field. Sawinski makes the grab, and that will end the inning. One left for the Red Sox. They trail things here, 2 0. Welcome back. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, O'Neill Cruz. The right-hander back to work. Line drive. Yastrzemski makes a nice grab at a full sprint. Now back. So digging in, Jack Sawinski. And first offering is fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Hit on the ground to the right yeah. side. He handles it himself. Out. Already two gone here no in the pass. home fourth. Two outs, base is empty. Rowdy Telez, the next pirate to hit. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. Well, it looks like he just got out of himself a little bit right there. He's looking for a ball in, and to attack that pitch looked like a half-hearted swing. And he's down 0-2 as he swings through it. This guy's pounding the zone. Hitters don't have time to think in between pitches. Here's the 0-2. Now with the shift on, hits right into Ooh. it. Throw on to Brown, and that is the inning. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh, but they're on top 2 nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh, we go to the top of the fifth, and stepping in for Boston, Seth Brown. In there at the knees, that's strike one. You know, these Red Sox, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen... And meanwhile, yeah. this a fair ball down the left field line. And he makes it into uh. a leadoff triple. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Casas batting for the second time, and that's strike one. He struck out swinging at his first at bat. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good, and then... By the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the ball to him. Oh, Swings and misses on the fastball up in the zone for the strikeout. Well, it can be so tough as a hitter to pull yourself out of an extended slump, one that lasts for several games, even yeah. a week or more. No, right now, he's really in one, so I'm sure his mind is all over the place, racing, having a hard time sleeping, trying to figure out what... And a base hit on a line. In to score is the runner from third, and it's a one-run game. Big RBI for him right there. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive in the center field. Sanchez in the box now. Take strike one. He was a strikeout victim his first time. And that one fouled off. Oh, and two now. And the pitch is outside, ball one. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose. Oh, Caught it oh. looking for the K. 
now at 10 K's with still a few innings left so expect him to add on to that total and the you know, pitchers are looking to have a strikeout per inning I mean that's excellent work uh, the way it looks now I mean he's going to have a better rate than that in this one so really good stuff working on the mound in this one. Chang the runner at first with two gone. On the ground to third. Whips it across. Ah. And that is that. Good play. So one run in the inning on this base hit. And this is now a 2-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, ready to go for the last half of the inning. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Rodolfo Castro. Swings and misses. It's 0-1. Swings through that one for strike two. A lot of times you'll see a pitcher maybe double up on a pitch. This guy will throw it three times, four times in a row because hitters just can't lay off of it. That's hard hit in the line. Yastrzemski racing over to make the catch. And now it's Travis Darno with the play. One for one so far today with a solo homer in his first at bat. Swings through that Ooh. one. Oh, and one. Man, that was pretty gross right there. And the 0 2. And that one missing low. Has some trouble with it. Oh! Gets it there in time, though. It's all a tough play, but they do get out number two. Definitely not a comfortable play to make down there at third when it's ripped at you like that. Pretty impressive stop, though. He kind of stabbed at it, got up, completed the play. You know, some guys are just waving at that one as it goes by to the outfield. Go, okay. And that's a base hit. And that turns the lineup over. And that knock bumps his hitting streak into double digits, Chris. He's hitting 10 straight. Yeah, and on a nice trajectory. Average going up. McCutcheon on the move. Swing and a miss. Sanchez throws. Too late. Stolen base. Well, that steal right there is wanting to take advantage of having a really good hitter at the plate. Now they've got a much better shot at bringing home a two-out RBI. Comes up empty on the swing, 0-2 now. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. Runner on the go again. Pitch misses. Sanchez throws. Too late. Stolen base. Wow, that's a pretty elite throwing arm right there from the catcher spot. Pretty daring for him to try to steal third right there, but he gets the bag. Maybe the element of surprise was what came in because he's not used to guys running on him and right there still tracks uh, it down for the out and the inning is over. So one left for Pittsburgh. They lead it 2-1. Top six. Now the left fielder Alex Verdugo. Miles back to work. That's in there. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity and stay there. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And a pitch. Pretty standard high 0 2 fastball right there. If you're smart, you'll look for something down in the zone, but not too far. Don't want to chase that breaking ball in the dirt. This one high in the air to left center. Sawinski calls it in for the out. And there's one down. Good job. Now back. And it's Rafael Devers in the box. That's a base hit. Oh. So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Down, 
Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. We've all seen the defensive shift make a big difference in defending against pull hitters, but it's not foolproof. He pulled it as oh. expected, but he found a hole that time. Garcia at the plate now. That's ball one. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Lifted in the air right center field. Rojas pulls it down and there are two away. Good play. Good play. And now the center fielder, Mike Yastrzemski. First pitch, and he just misses. Yastrzemski measures 5 feet 10 inches, 33 years old, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. Devers off of first with two away. The 2-0 yep. is in for a strike. He's been able to go inside as well as outside, effectively working both sides of the plate in this at bat. And there's a hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on right. with two outs. Well, the last 10 games or so have been anything but fun at the. Seth Brown. Played for him, so that one has to feel good. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. Now a pretty big at bat coming up with a chance to even this ball game up. Kicks and deals. Fly ball down the right field line. This yeah. one's got a chance. Home run. No, they can't do Seth Brown goes deep. <laughs> it's his eighth home run of the year. It's 4-2. sure how he kept that fair when you're out in front of a breaking ball like that such a good chance that it's gonna hook foul but not this time he kept the hands moving forward just long enough to sneak it inside that foul pole so two down Tristan Casas getting ready to hit And first offering is fouled off. Two outs. Foul ball there. Next pitch one misses one. inside. And a count one and two. One ball, two strikes. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Sox get three on the homer. It's now 4-2. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back here at PNC Park, bottom of the sixth inning. Here's Josh Rojas. And a pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. You know, these Pirates looking to string together better at bats when they have runners on, but it just hasn't happened for them yet. They only have one hit with runners in scoring position, so a lot of squandered opportunities. It's tough because those are moments you just can't get back. Cuts and misses. Ah, it's a strikeout. Up next for the Pirates, Ryan Reynolds. One for two. He had an RBI base hit back in the first. If you're on the mound right now, you know you have to retire this hitter. If he gets on base, it could open up the floodgates for this offense to score some runs. Up the middle. Nice grab. Fires to first, and he gets him. Nicely uh. done. Oh, yeah. Next to bat will be the Pittsburgh cleanup hitter, O'Neill Cruz. Oh. 
That one lifted to left. Yeah. Verdugo gets under it. Puts the squeeze on it. And that is that. Down in order go the Pirates. They trail it here. Four to two. Welcome back. All set for the start of the inning. Joe stepping in for Boston. You check. Dwayne Underwood Jr. comes on now. He's pitching on two days rest. Number 56. Dwayne Underwood Jr. And here it comes. Strike one. Oh, one. Oh, yeah. Swing and a miss. Oh, and it's 0 and 2. Wow, that's 89 on the gun, and it's a changeup. It's like good hitting if you're looking for it, but because of the speed differential between the fastball and that pitch, really hard for a hitter to get on time with it. Field two. I dropped it and out looking. And now it's the catcher, now, now. Gary Sanchez. Yes. Gary. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. The pitch. Swings and misses. No oh, a two down. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to oh. steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Oh, Goes down the oh, game. Well, tough night at the dish, punching out for the third time right there. He just hasn't looked very comfortable at the plate. A little unsure of his timing right now, not picking up the spin and location of these pitches. We'll have some adjustments to make. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. Ball one there. Well, I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer. When you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm, you really have to change your approach. Can't try to steal because you'll... And the throw to first yeah, is there fire. to put an end to the inning. Down in order, go the Red Sox. As they can't add to their 4-2 lead. And welcome back. Bottom of the seventh. Here's the left fielder, Jack Sawinski. And the right hater back to work. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. I'm impressed by the number of first pitch strikes. He's not afraid of contact. Some guys, they'll nibble just because they don't want to get hit hard. That's not what we're seeing here. On the ground right side. Tosses to the pitcher covering the bag. And the leadoff hitter set down to open the seven. And now it's Rowdy Telez. Pitch misses inside, and that's ball one. And that skips in the dirt. And the right hander deals. That one's spoiled, and the count now two and one. The pitch. Line to second, uh, snagged on the bounce. Out. Lopez tosses to first, and that quickly two away. Now, Rodolfo Castro. First oh offering, misses the mark. The Red Sox with some bullpen action. Andrew Chafin, the closer, is getting loose. Suarez, the right-hander. Loosening up as well. High fly ball near the pole. That go, one Castro. is foul. Oh, man. And he deals. 
Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. Just a little too quick on that front shoulder, front hip, front foot. Everything comes open. No way. Now that's strike three and the third out. Man, so we take a break. And one, two, three go the Pirates. Still down by a count of four to two. Back here in Pittsburgh, we go to the eighth. Now at the plate, Alex Verdugo. On the outside corner, strike one. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Cruz out of first. And Verdugo is set down. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. And here is Devers. In there, and it's 0-1. Well, an at-bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. And Devers hits that one. Hops over the wall, and that's an automatic double. The automatic double kind of feels like enjoying cruise control in your car. Dude. You don't need to keep the pedal down as you cruise into second base. Just no worries in the world. You know what? He put a really good swing on that one. And here is Adolis Garcia. And a foul ball left side. And that one hit 97 on the gun. Well, they've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Yastrzemski stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Next pitch misses inside, and yeah, that's ball two. Right-hander kicks, deals. There's a strike. Now two and one. Runner leads away at second. And a good eye there. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. The hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Can't glove it cleanly. But in time, wow. nice job to stay with it to end the inning. And the Red Sox lead one, but they still lead this one four to two. To the mound now, they turn to Blake Trinan. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves. Great and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. Worm burner into the outfield for a Everything came together for him. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but Come on, that's Jack. a good approach paying off. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh, oh, oh. Now this guy's definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap. But, you know, at the very least, if you can find a way to manufacture that run from first, it feels like it's really important to getting back into this ballgame. Sharp grounder, that's the one we go. Lead go, runner to second, so two on and nobody out. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. There's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped, caught out in front, and didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Over. And the throw out of third. Uh. McCutcheon over at second, one down. That missed inside, and it's one and one. Movement in the bullpen. Andrew Chafin getting ready to go. Next offering misses, and it's two and one. And the righty deals. Swings and lines a base on, hit into left field. Go. Next gets over the fence, so it's an automatic yeah. double. They pick up a run, oh, and now oh, it's a one-run game. 
He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double, but the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. One out, runner at second. Now it's the right fielder, Josh Rojas. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Makes a nice run of catch. Two down. Tried to take on the wind in left field right there. Just a little too much traffic up in the air. Come on, Brian. Mother Nature won that one. It's hard to say, but I think that might be gone otherwise. And first offering is fouled off with a single base runner because of all the power. They are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. Now here's a flare off the bat. And it's oh. just foul. That was close. Righty delivers. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two outs and one in scoring position. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Oh, and two now. Runner breaks for third. On the ground to short. Throw on to Brown. And they take care of Reynolds for the out. Inning over, and it could have been worse. But they push across and one run on three like hits, run. no errors, that, and that one is. man left. Through eight full, the Red Sox four, and the Pirates three. Back here at the ballpark, all set to start the ninth in this one. And now the first baseman, Seth Brown. That strike. pitch gets the corner. That's strike one. Right-handed reliever. This one popped up. Underwood makes the grab. Good deal. And there's one away. <laughs> now batting now Tristan Casas. Tristan Casas. First no. offering and it just misses. One ball, no strike. And no. downstairs. Two balls. One run no game strike. here in the top of the ninth. Out to center. Reynolds trying to get there. Makes the grab on Good the run. Hustle. Two down. Come on, one more. Yu Chang up next for the Red Sox. One for three. In for a strike. And it's 0-1. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading to the bottom of the ninth, so it's going to be on the bullpen to hold this lead. And a foul ball. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. Good eye right there. That's inside. Two balls, two strikes. Good job to fight that one off. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball, another 2 2 upcoming. All right, bro. Rips one to right, and that should be extra oh, bases. Aloha. Around first, heading for two. Around second now, going for three. Just one of those at bats you almost hate to see come to an end. He recognized the rotation of the baseball out of the hand, stayed tall on the backside, and crushed that pitch the other way. And Gary Sanchez at the plate. And an automatic double as it hops the fence. As a run scores. Well, there's something really nice about getting yourself an automatic double like that. You get to stroll into second base without having to worry about a throw or get your uniform dirty. And now you're just looking for the next guy to kind of do the same thing. Maybe put one in the gap so you can jog home as well. The 0-1. Now a one and one. Next offering is in for a strike. Sanchez on its second with two down. Next pitch is outside. Cut on and missed. Struck him out. 
Good job at damage control right there. So they pick up a run on two hits. No errors and a man left. On to the bottom of inning number nine. Four, five, six coming up. It's the Red Sox on, five guys. and the Pirates three. We're back. And on the mound is the closer, Andrew Chafin. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pen to lock down wins. So this game has gone to plan more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. Cruz, the leadoff batter, as he looks at ball one. Sanker catches the zone at the knees. Okay, look, we'll see how it factors in. I just can't emphasize how much that insurance run in the top of the ninth means. I mean, just such a big difference mentally when you're chasing two runs instead of one. Next offering clips the zone oh, count even on, at two. Hard ground ball, base now. Here we go, Chris. Way to go, buddy. Singy, that's a start. Yeah, as soon as that ball got through, I could see down in the dugout, guys on, pumping guys. their fists. They know that they got a chance in this ball game. And this is very likely the last chance he gets to keep his hitting streak alive. Runner on the goal. Pitch is high. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. And now two and nothing. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Swing and a miss. Two and one now. Gonna really need to hang in there with that front side against this left-handed breaking ball. And he gets tied up right there. You tie a guy up like that, you're feeling like you are in command. That one inside. Ball three. Rowdy Telez waiting for a turn at the plate. Swings and misses. Oh. Struck him out. And he'll be beating himself up on the way yeah. back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Telez, the next to hit, takes outside. Red Sox leading it by two. Yeah, the home team trying to pull it out. Next offering is in for a strike. Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. Swing and a miss. Yeah. Right at third. Save. That wasn't close. I think he surprised everyone in the ballpark, and especially the pitcher. It wasn't a great lead there, but when he took off, I think he caught him off guard. Nice job to get to third. That one way outside. Two balls, two strikes. But I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Shit. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And now the lefty. That one missed. Rodolfo Castro waits on deck for Pittsburgh. The 3 2 is off the outside uh, edge, and that is uh, ball four. Very close off the outside corner. Could have easily been called a strike in that location. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Rodolfo Castro. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Little chopper rolls foul. Try to keep the game alive here in the bottom of the ninth. Runner goes again. Swing at a chopper. Chang. In plenty of time. The first one. They cut it to one as the run comes in. Last chance now for the Pirates. Travis Dardo, the next Pirate to hit. Trying to deliver as the hero. First pitch, oh, no. just misses. Well, comfortable or not, these are the situations closers, they seem to live for. When you get into some hot water, a jam, tough spot, whatever you want to call it, but this is where they earn their keep. Out to short. 
Throw to first. Ball game. And the uh, Red Sox game. strand the tying run on base to win it. Well, you take a tie ball game into the ninth on the road. You know that you've got some work to do. you got to score, but then you've also got to get three outs in the bottom half of that inning. They did just that today. Well, Very I well hope played. you guys enjoyed. I hope you all have a wonderful night, and we will catch you for game three against the Red Sox. And we got the home run derby coming up this month, too. Sweet.